our idea for environmental citizenship was to use Yucatan as a place to begin thinking about um, issues in sustainability, uh, globalization, environmental uh, degradation. And so what we did was we tended to focus on the Maya and their experiences as they've tried to adapt to the environment from the pre-Columbian through the modern times, which is great because the Maya, as you know, uh, suffered a, a severe natural collapse or cultural collapse around 900 to 1000 AD. So uh, the Ma we know even prehistorically they were facing great environmental challenges and they continue to do so today. And we live on site so we have built an off-the-grid research and learning center in the jungle. It consists of dormitories and uh, faculty guest housing, classrooms, laboratory, and kitchen. So there's about 12 or 13 buildings out there. The dormitories are hooked up to solar power plant. So all of our energy comes from the sun and once you use up the energy, or if there's no sun, then you don't have any lights or any fan or any electricity to pump water with. One of the things I've noticed staying here for six weeks is that uh, as an American, I use a lot of excess, um, excess electricity, excess water. I don't really need to take a 20 minute shower. And uh, to come out here and be able to live in harmony with the environment and not destroy it, um, I think it's pretty rewarding and I hope I can take some of that back with me to the States.